All right. Very good. Okay. So back up. Super Saturday, April 8th I want, or 9th or whatever. Um, I want you guys all to make sure you go to one. I think they, um, I've heard that there's some pretty big announcements. I believe one of them will be fitness related. One of them will be nutrition related. I've heard rumors. Don't know if they're true. Um, and a new super trainer is going to be announced. So I know, right? I think it's going to be Joel's wife, but whatever. Just saying. Um, it could be the new 20s person. But yeah, we don't know about that. True. I don't know. Anyway, exciting stuff. Challenge packs. Um, we don't have the featured challenge packs anymore, right? So um, we just have great pricing on everything. Um, and so the uh, best deal run-in is the 199 All Access Challenge Pack plus Shakeology. And I believe just yesterday or maybe even today, they added a kickstart too, which includes Shakeology, uh, the All Access Challenge, or the All Access Beachbody On Demand plus three-day refresh. I think that got added today. So there's that too. Those are all, everything now across the board is worth two success club points. So a single Shakeology is worth two success club points now, not just one. So woohoo on that, right? Um, there are only, no, I'm going to back up. There are a whole two weeks left in the month, you guys, and one day, 15 days left in the month. Um, that's a ton of time that you have to get out there and um, talk to people about the awesomeness that we have to offer and get them going, get them involved. Um, and I know that that's really all the announcements I have. Did I miss anything, Robin? Nope, I don't think so. Okay. So I, the one thing we didn't talk about is who's going first and who's going second. <laughs> True. I, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Well, I'll just go because I'm talking already. All so, right. Is that okay? That's just fine. Okay. All right. So we are going to talk about basically about when kind of when life gets hard or when your business gets hard or when something in your life gets hard, not giving up or not giving in, but actually just showing up. Okay. That's what we're talking about. And it's funny because I've talked to a couple of coaches today, even after I just, after Robin and I decided on this topic, I've talked to a couple coaches today who were in that mentality, right? <laughs> they were already in that mentality of, I'm just going to give up. And I'm like, no, 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 not Tanya. You didn't say you're going to give up, but it just how life's getting hard. And sometimes you just need to, to be there for your business. I'm going to actually text somebody who told me she was going to be here. Who's not here. Speaking of showing up. Um, but I'll get talk to talking to but I'm going to annoy her real quick. Cause she said she was going to be here and now she's not. Um, we let's see. Cause okay. I just wanted to do that for her. Um, because she needs to show up. All right. Um, so the first thing I was going to talk about was showing up for, and we're kind of a little bit revolving it around the four vitals. Um, although we're talking about other topics as well, but, um, so I want to just first start talking about your workout and your Shakeology. That's being a product of the product. That was, that's one of our four vitals. And here's the thing. So, you know, maybe life's hard. Maybe you hurt, got hurt. Maybe you're running out of time for your workout. Um, but I'm going to start out by saying if you're injured, there is still a workout on Beachbody On Demand for you. Um, there's Tai Chi. There's three-week yoga retreat. Some of those are hard, <laughs> but there's some that aren't. Um, and I did one the other day that was um, not from three-week yoga retreat. It's from the Beachbody Yoga Studio. And I was so sore in my ab area. It was a core, a, a new core one. It was so good. But if you're injured, there is still a way to keep you moving. And it's really, really important to continue to move. Even if you are injured, there are modifications, there are chiller workouts, there are all kinds of things you can do to stay in motion. Okay, now I'm going to address the time issue. You are never going to find time for your workout. Never. You are going to have to make time for your workout, period, all the time. You're going to have to make it make time for it. So <clears throat> if you're having a hard time finding time to squeeze your workout in, um, remember that a 30-minute workout is a 48th of your day. 
come on, right? You got time for that, right? A 48th, I mean, that's like nothing. That's not even worth, worth you know, writing home about. That's nothing. All kinds of time to do your workout. Um, but the point is, is that there's always time. Um, it's just a matter of what you make a priority. And why would you not make your workout a priority? Because here's what you're going to get from it. You're going to get endorphins, okay? Endorphins are going to put you in a better mood. Let's just say you've had a crappy week with the kids, I don't know, or at work or whatever it is, or your beach body business is not feeling like it's hot. Um, that is not a reason not to work out. And, and all of those things can be improved by exercise because of these things. Number one, you get endorphins. Endorphins make you feel better, period. They bring you out of the funk. Um, they usually last for hours and hours, actually, sometimes all day. You sleep better at night when you exercise. Have y'all noticed that? The day I take one day off a week, it's usually Tuesdays. I don't sleep as well on Tuesday nights. I sleep better when I am absolutely beat tired. Um, and I, it takes a lot because this is me without caffeine. I don't do caffeine. So I'm a spaz all day long and I need to wear myself out. So I sleep better um, at night. It gives you self-esteem. It really does. Working out builds your self-esteem and builds your self-confidence because of two reasons. One, because you show yourself that you can do it. You might start a workout and say, there's no way I can do that. I, there's no way I can do it. Like I started Body Beast the first time and I was like, what the heck am I thinking? Um, and I got, you know, halfway through the first workout and I was like, this is fun and I can do it. I rock. You know, like it just makes you feel good about yourself. It gives you more self-esteem. It gives you more confidence to go through your day. Um, and that's really important as a beach body coach, because I feel like you need to have confidence in yourself to be able to go out and talk to other people about having confidence in themselves. Right? So part of what we do as beach body coaches is help people find that in themselves. But if you're not finding it in yourself, you're just going to have a really hard time helping other people find it in them. And so that's a lot of what we work on in our little, um, in our challenge group. And our challenge group is working on people's self-esteem and feeling better about themselves, just about who they are and what their body can do and all that awesome stuff. Um, so be a product of that, you guys. Do your workouts because you are going to feel better about yourself. You're going to have more confidence in yourself and your abilities. Um, and here's another little tidbit too. The more workouts you do in Beachbody, the better you are as a beach body coach to be able to explain to people how or what workout to do. Let's say somebody finishes 21 day fix and they go, all right, what's next? And you go, I don't know. I haven't done anything else. You know, if you've done 19 rounds of 21 day fix, maybe it's time to move on. And if you have questions about what workout to do next, go ask your upline coach because they're going to know. Um, and maybe some cases they won't, but that's okay. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but ask your upline coach, they're going to know, or ask somebody else that'll know, they'll know. I've done every single Beachbody program except for Insanity the Asylum, and I probably won't ever do that. I'm a little scared of it. Um, the big bonus on, on these workouts, on doing these workouts, is that it actually helps you look better. <laughs> Come on, right? I mean, you do get results from these workouts. They do work. It is being a product of the product, but it's kind of like, I call it a byproduct of the workouts because you're doing it for yourself. But then you go look in the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, I can actually see my abs again. Like I still have a little bit of winter. Um, I mean, Robin and I live in cold climates. So I think generally people who live in cold climates sometimes get a little winter layer. And I think it's just genetic. I mean, not genetic, but I think it's just innate in the way that our bodies work that they want to keep us warm. So we pack on the thing that makes us warm, which is a brown fat layer. That's what it's called. Um, and I'm just now starting to see my body come out of the brown fat layer cocoon. Um, and it's, it's nice. It's fun. It's fun to see that. And so not only does the exercise make me feel better because of the endorphins, it makes me feel better with my self-confidence, but I also look better too. So another bonus reason to do your workout. Another thing is, is there's a study, a bunch of studies actually done on getting things done. And there's, they talk about the, about checklists and, you know, um, there's, there is a um, neurotransmitter that's actually released in your body when you accomplish something, when you're able to check it off your list. And that neurotransmitter is a feel-good neurotransmitter. And so if you get your workout done, you get to check that off your list. And that is a sense of accomplishment that brings you 
truly feel good neurotransmitters. That's science. It actually works. And they've done these studies. They've actually watched people's brains change when they check something off the list. It's pretty stinking cool. So get it done for no other reason, just to get it done. <laughs> All right. Um, your Shakeology. Um, you know, why would you not drink your Shakeology? I mean, it makes you feel better. Your health improves. <laughs> your blood pressure might drop. Your cholesterol might go down. Um, all these phenomenal things that happen when you, when you feed yourself that well, when you're giving yourself the micronutrients that your own little body needs to work at its optimum, why would you not do that? I don't really have any other words to say. <laughs> so show up for your Shakeology. It takes 30 seconds to make, right? That's a no brainer. That's the easiest thing you can do all day, you know, in your business and your, with your eating plan and your Shakeology and your, um, Workout, the easiest thing you can do is drink your Shakeology. Do it. Become a 365er. Get the golden canister. That's two, two years. Did y'all have y'all gotten that? The golden canister? You get the golden scoop for one year and the thing, and then for two years, you get a golden canister. And it's actually really nice. I'm using mine right now. Um, okay, I'll talk about my other topic, then I'll let Robin roll with hers too. My other one is showing up for your business. Um, you guys, there's a whole lot of reasons to show up for your business other than the fact that this business works <laughs> and financially, um, if you do the things that you're supposed to do, the four vital behaviors and you do them consistently over time, the business works period. End of story. But there's some other reasons why you show up for your business. You show up for your business because of your challengers, because you've got people that are counting on you people that are counting on you to help them through, get through this. They signed up with you because you are you. They said, I really like what Stacy's about. I really like what she's been doing. I'm going to sign up with her. They are relying on you to be there for them. Okay. So whether you have your own challenge group or you're in your uplines challenge group, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you show up for your challengers. If you're in your uplines challenge group or in somebody else's challenge group, you guys share one. Just make sure that you're commenting on your challenger stuff because um, they, they're they looking to you. They're not looking, you know, if you're in my challenge group, your challengers are my challenge group. They're not looking to me for advice. They're looking to you for advice. They signed up with you, not me. Um, and so be there for them. But, but also, um, well, that's enough on that. Be there for posting on Facebook. Show up for your posts, okay? Um, post every single day. I'm not a big poster, except I do post every single day. I don't miss a day. Um, I don't post three times a day. Well, occasionally I do. I posted twice today and I'm about to post again, but, um, after this group, but, um, and what I'm going to post today is actually one of the topics I'm going to talk about. Okay. So, but show up because today is Shakeology's eighth birthday. When we get off the call, go put a picture of you and your Shakeology and tell everybody what you love about it and wish Shakeology a happy freaking birthday. Easy, super easy to do. Maybe you won't get a bunch of likes on it, but here's the thing. When you get a new friend and they go look at your page, like this happened to me last week. I was in, I was in a group um, and in that group, it, it's a um, like a veil mom support group and somebody had posted the fact that they were tired of their baby weight and they're super low energy and blah 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 and a friend of mine tagged me in the comments and I responded back to this person and she and I I sent her a Facebook message right away and we started chatting and then she she sent me a friend request and or I sent her a friend request and she got it immediately she went to my um to my profile and she looked at my profile at the same time she had three other beach body coaches that are in that group message her too she went to look at their profiles too and she said she picked mine even though i'm 20 years older than her she picked mine because she resonated with the things that i was saying that the story that i was telling that she could see my workout she could see my shakeology she could see my family she could see me fitting in all the stuff but still working out, but still drinking my Shakeology. And she could see that I had a solution for all of this, a fitness and nutrition. And she could see that from my wall. And that's what people do, you guys. They stalk you all the time. You may not know it, but they're doing it all the time. They're in there and they're looking. Well, as it turns out, 
she's my new challenger in my challenge group. And I'm so happy to have her. She's 20 years younger than me. She's no, she's not. That would make me almost 50. She is 27. Um, and she, the other three, uh, beach body coaches, two of them are, are in their early thirties. Okay. But still she, she had, and she didn't know any of them. So she picked based on their Facebook profiles. So get in there and post, post about what's wor working, post about what doesn't work. Just post some stuff, post something every day. And it, please don't post Beachbody every day. That's just annoying. Um, but be there and posting about your life. Be there posting about your kids. Be there posting about um, what you ate for dinner, that Shakeology's eighth, birth, eighth birthday is today. Um, be there, show up for following up, okay? The meat of this business, the, the what's the word? The, uh, what is it? Well, whatever. I can't think. I don't meat. That's not even where I use. I'm a vegetarian. Um, the um, I don't. I can't think of the word. The follow. The fortune is in the follow up. There it is. The fortune is in the follow up in, in this business. In any business, actually. I mean, my husband has a retail store, and the fortune for him is in follow up as well. You know, if he sits there and spends an hour with somebody talking to him about them about a product, you better bet he's going to call him two days later and say, dude, what's going on? What are we thinking? Okay. Same thing. Make your list, follow up, do it all the time. That's your business. Okay. Show up for it. Show up for reaching out to people. When you're, when you see somebody post about, Oh, I got to go to the gym again. I hate going to the gym. I can not Nothing's happening. Message them, comment, like, do things you guys. Um, reach out to people. I'm sorry. It's so loud in my house. It sounds like there's 15 people downstairs. Um, but do this all the time. I can't tell you how many people over the last three years that I have happened to see their post on Facebook about how much they hate going to the gym or the fact that they can't lose weight and they're bummed about it. And I messaged them and they're, they're longtime customers. You guys, it's, you got to do it. You got to reach out. Um, the other thing that I would say in terms of your business is recognition and it's a, that's a hard one. And that's one of the four vitals also, but recognition is part of your business. If you're, if you have a challenger that's doing something awesome or you get a really sweet text from a customer or a coach or a discount coach, you know, take the, tell them, ask them, you know, do you mind if I share this on Facebook? Cause I'm excited about your progress and I want to be able to share it and just say, if you don't want me to use your name, I won't use one of the photo apps to black out their names and stuff, but recognize people. If you don't have a big team, don't, you don't have anybody to recognize on your team. Fine. Go recognize some challengers, recognize some customers. Um, do it weekly. I do, I do it once a week. I recognize my teammates. Um, and, uh, just it, not my team, my team, my coaches, the people in my downline, um, for getting over a hundred PV or over 90 PV. So even if they have 91 PV, they get recognition and I tag them and I get excited about it and they get excited about it. And it feels good to have recognition. Even if you're super shy, it still feels good to have recognition. It still feels good when somebody points that out. Um, you know, I have a, a, a customer who, or she's a discount coach now, but she sends me texts once a week and tells me how awesome it is. She actually posted when I posted on about Shakeology and it's eighth birthday. I said, what has Shakeology done for you? She posted a picture of herself 20 pounds down since January. Um, and that's what Shakeology has done for her, you know, stuff like that. It, it, people are, people are out there. They want to be recognized. They want to hear from you. They want to hear you getting excited for them. That's a big deal. That's something you show up for. All right. Do you have any questions about that? And otherwise I'm going to let Robin chit chat and we're going to have time at the end to, um, to, uh, for questions. Okay. Right. There's a little overlap in mine, but that's all right. I love this topic. Um, I, Kim, you came up with it and you get the credit for it, but when life happens, don't give up show up. I love that. Um, you know, we all have busy lives, we all have families, we all have, you know, friends, commitments, um, priorities to manage, but we need to show up every single day. Um, you have to remember that you're the CEO of your business. This is your business. 
you don't work for Kim, you don't work for me, Rob, you don't work for anyone else, you're working for yourself. So ultimately, you're determining the pace. Um, you know, if you put in minimal effort, you can expect to get big results. Um, you know, if you take a week off, if you take a couple days off, you can expect to get big results. Um, that's just something that you have to accept. So ultimately, you're going to set the pace for your business. Um, and you're only going to get out of it what you put into it. Um, you know, your challengers, your coaches, they're all going to feed off of your energy, off of your um, efforts, off of your consistency, off of your momentum. And that's all going to continue to build and build. But you take your foot off the gas um, and it's so, so hard to get it back. Um, however, that doesn't mean that we don't all have bad days. I mean, life happens. None of us are exempt from it. You know, whether there's, I mean, God forbid, a death in the family. Um, that's happened to me recently. Um, whether you have sickness. Um, my daughter's sick right now. Um, whether you're not feeling good. I actually have a headache right now. Um, I won't tell you why because it's a, a female thing. Um, but the, the point is, is we all have things going on. And we're all going to have our bad days. And you just need to take a deep breath. And I think one of the number one things you need to remember is your why. And that's why you need such a strong why. So for me, I want freedom. I want to spend time with my family. I want to travel. I want to do what I want to do. I don't want to have to go to work. Um, if I'm not feeling good, I don't want to have to call in and ask for the day off um, or feel guilty. Um, I want that freedom. I want that time. Um, so I think one of the most important things is just being consistent. Um, now, does that mean that you're going to have the same amount of time, the same amount of energy every day? No. Um, you know, some days when I am just feeling, you know, strung out, stressed, um, you know, whether, again, like I said, <laughs> you know, death in the family, sick family member, whatever it is, you just need to do something. Do something to move your business forward that day. Even if it's 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you can do, do something. So just one small step because you may not realize it, but that is going to give you encouragement over time because you know that no matter what happens to you, you will not give up. You will continue to move your business forward no matter what, even if it's only five minutes. Um, I think when you allow yourself to give up, then you start, start to doubt yourself. Um, and then when the next thing happens, you know, you doubt yourself even more. And then maybe you, you know, give up even more. You give in and, you know, take a few days off or take a week off or whatever it may be. Um, but just doing that one small thing. So maybe just reaching out to three people and saying, hi, you know, how are you doing? Or following up with one person, wishing someone a happy birthday. Um, I think posting like what Kim said, getting a post out there is really important every day because people need to see that you're in this. I have had so many people come to me and say, I chose you as a coach because of your consistency, because I can see that you're in this for the long run. I can see that you're working out all the time. You're drinking your psychology. You know, you have the positive posts. And if they, if you, they see you disappear, they're going to go somewhere else. Just like what Kim said, you know, that happens. Um, so you want to be there for your challengers. Um, and I would say, you know, even if you're not feeling inspired, because there are a lot of days where I'm like, I just, I don't know what to post. I'm just not feeling it. Recycle a post. You know, go back into your feed. People are not going to remember what you posted. So repost. Um, go to your coach's feed. Go to, you know, another coach's feed and, you know, repurpose the post. Don't share it. Um, don't, you know, copy with their logo on it and put it on your page. Um, but it's super easy to word swag it and, you know, just put your own little comment and how you feel about it. Um, there are so many ways that you can take a minimal amount of time to put into this just to keep moving forward. So again, it's just, it's showing up. 
Um, we're not saying that you need to spend half of your day. Um, maybe you don't even have a power hour some days and you just need to be kind to yourself. You need to give yourself that grace, but keep moving forward one foot in front of the other. Um, and I think too, that's where personal development comes in. So that's another piece that I want to talk about because personal development is going to help get you through those difficult times. It's going to help you stay focused on your goals. It's going to help you remember your why. It's going to give you that positivity that you need to know that you can do this because you can do this. We can all do this, but we can't do it if we give up. Um, we need to be encouraged. We need to continually move forward, you know, move out of our comfort zone. And what's more uncomfortable than, you know, doing something when you're having a crappy day. I mean, that's when I feel the most uncomfortable doing something with my business is when I'm having a crappy day and I just don't feel like it, but you know what? I do it anyway. Um, and it's paid off and it will continue to pay off. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's just important to remember things are always going to get in the way and you just need to expect it. It's going to happen. It's life. It's not all going to be great days. Um, you're going to have great days, but prepare for those days when you're not feeling it and just make that commitment to yourself because you deserve it. You deserve to succeed and you can do it. Um, so be consistent, never give up, never stop, slow down maybe, but never stop, never give up. So that is really what I wanted to get across. And it's awesome. I love that. Thank you. Love it. I love the idea of um, giving yourself the fr freedom, for lack of a better word, to slow down, but that, mm -hmm. you, that, you, that you never stop. I mean, that's in, in Robin's right. I don't know if either of you have ever taken an extended period of time off. And by extended, I mean a week, like more than four or five days. And how hard is it to get your momentum back? My goodness gracious. I mean, I know Robin went on a cruise. Um, she did have internet on her fancy boat that she went on. You did not stop working your business. You did not stop showing up and posting. You did not. And you, there you were out in the middle of the Caribbean on a boat. And, and we didn't spend a lot of time doing it. And it was worth the money. No, but you didn't, but you didn't stop showing up. You still showed up. You still showed up to everything, all parts of your business. I remember when we were on the cruise, the Beachbody cruise, when I was sitting down at the pool, I was working my business. I was talking to people, um, out in the middle of the Caribbean and I, and I bought the, just like you did, bought the internet plan so that I could do that. Cause I knew that taking seven days off of my business to go hang out with my friends in the business wasn't going to do me any good. <laughs> no favors here. So. Um, just know that, that it, it takes almost twice as long to get your momentum back as it, like, if you take off a week, it takes two, three weeks to get your momentum back. No joke. Personally. Well, and I think too, you have, you build that faith in yourself Yeah. when you stick with it. Because when you're like going strong and you're feeling it and you're feeling great and I can do this and I am going to, you know, get to my goals, I can do this. Um, if you know that the next bump in the road, you're going to stop, that just kind of screws with your head. It really does. <laughs> so true. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah, that's such a good point. I mean, I just, I think that, I think it's really important. I think that, that consistency and, um, and you guys um, are reading personal development, yes? Tanya? That's a good one, that's a really good one. Are you reading something right now, Tanya? I can't hear you, are you muted? We're not muted and I still can't hear you, type it. Um, if you need a personal development book to read, will you, will you boxer me and let's figure something out for you? Is that an affirmative? Okay, good. All right. Um, and I do think that that, Robin, back me up. I think that, that reading personal development actually helps with your consistency. 
Absolutely. I mean, it, it helps with everything. Um, and personal development can be a lot of different things. I know for me, um, sometimes personal development is um, more spiritual. You know, some days I don't need to listen to Darren Hardy or, you know, I, I need to read the Bible or, you know, I need to be listening to like a sermon from a, a past, um, you know, because we have ours online. So sometimes I need that type of personal development. Um, so there's lots of different forms of personal development. Yeah, agreed too. And the other thing is like, I'm reading a book right now about getting things done. Um, and it's, you know, not building your business or anything else. It's just getting things done. Like that is my, and I read my Bible every day, but, and, but I, same thing on Sunday. I don't read my personal development book because I do my Bible study and I go to church and that's a lot of personal development. And that's a big part of my life that needs feeding. So, yes. Um, yeah. Well, and we're all in different places. So you have to remember that too, when you're choosing personal development, don't just choose what everybody else is reading. Mm -hmm. um, really think about it. And what do you need? Yeah, agreed. There's so many different areas of personal development too. I mean, there's organization, there's um, list making, there's um, being a badass, there's um, just inspirational stuff like, um, what was it? Shoot, now I can't think of the title. The one about the girl who, um, ah, can't think of her. The one about the girl who, who has the secondhand clothing store on I knew that's been the one you were talking about. Yep. Right? Uh, I can't remember either. I can't remember the title. But anyway. The girl boss or something. Yeah, girl boss. That's it. Um, yeah, it's, girl boss. It's just inspirational. I mean, in the sense that, you know, you can go from nothing to a mogul. Um, and, you know, like I read Shoe Dog, which is the story of, which is an autobiography of the guy, Nike, Philip Knight. He's Nike. Um, and it's just his story. And I'm not kidding you. That lit a fire under me, not because I like to run. Cause actually I hate to run. It was all about business and about, about knowing that you can come from nothing. If you work your tail off, you can come from nothing and make something, but you have to work at it. And he tell, constantly talks about it. you have to work at it. You have to work at it. You have to work hard. You have to pound the pavement. You have to, you have to do the thing. Um, and that's a different type of personal development. But um, so if you need personal development suggestions, I know Rob and, and Rob have lots of suggestions and I can help too. So if you guys need um, suggestions and it's been a big, big part of, my, of I wouldn't call it success because I'm getting there, but I'm not quite there, whatever. It's been a big part of my business. Um, and, and just in the last year of, of any success that I've had, I think largely comes from the personal development. So. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah, I think it's really important. You guys have questions or anything about anything? Just taking it all in. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, thank you for being here, you two. And uh, um, more people could have joined, but I, I got a few people with different yeah. things going on. It just didn't work out. Well, I'm glad we recorded it. I'm glad we got out and got back in so we could record it for the people who didn't get to be here live. Yeah. And so hey, can, can you hear me? Oh, I can. Yeah. Okay. I called in on the phone. I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out how I could talk. <laughs> I don't like it when I can't talk. So, <laughs> um, so, uh, great meeting by the way. It's exactly what I needed to hear. And I don't, I, now that I'm, I've got less than a minute real quick. So here's what I want to tell you. It's a little bit, it's on the subject, but it's not exactly what you're talking about right, right now. But um, I need to be coached like I just am now starting because like I told you this morning, it's like I am, I am a coach and I'm doing space a disservice because I'm coaching the way I've been coached, which is with nothing. So um, for you, Stacy, I want to be able to work with Kim and really more one-on-one. -on -one and kind of go through a step-by-step -step with you or accountability or something with you as I'm showing up when life gets hard. Um, so I know how to do this because clearly I'm doing, I'm repeating the behaviors that I was taught. Makes sense. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. That's awesome. I'm so glad that you said that because that's good. And that reassures Stacy too, that we've got a plan. We're hatching a plan, man. Uh, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, 
But Tanya, I'm super excited for you. I think the fact that you're committed to showing up again is huge. And I think a large part of it is, unfortunately, some other stuff that's been going on in the background of your coaching upline. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's made it difficult for you to get to where you need to be. And I understand that. And Robin understands that too, just FYI. Um, so we get, we get you. Never give up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And Robin and I went through the same thing at the same time, actually. We were in there together, like literally holding each other's hands through the whole thing. And that was, but really the bottom line is both of us wanted this business so much that we weren't going to give up and we didn't. And we've both, ex you know, excelled past.